Are you ready for some spring inspiration? I've got a spring lookbook coming your way. Okay, ladies, I have my rolling rack out and so many fun things that we can put in our wardrobe um, that we can mix and match. Most of them are separates. I have a couple of dresses. I have some swimsuits. I mean, I have everything because warmer weather is on, is on its way and I'm so excited about that. So, and, and I will just mention, everything is linked down below in the description box. Sometimes, I mean, YouTube is rolling out more and more brands that uh, we can partner with. And so you'll see those products in the video itself. But if you don't, all the links are down below. So just check the description box. And I'm gonna start off because I talk about tweed jackets all the time. And I think everybody should have one in their wardrobe. And this one is absolutely adorable from Ann Taylor. They always come out with tweed jackets every spring. Talbots does too, typically J. Crew. you know, all the mid-price brands that I love to shop at. And I know you do too, but this is just so cheerful. I love the window pane look. It reminded me of a very Chanel-esque jacket that Princess Diana wore years and years ago. And it does have a matching skirt, but it is the, the skirt is pretty short. I mean, I wear short skirts, but um, that's completely up to your aesthetic. But I also picked up these really cute pants, again, from Ann Taylor, that goes with it. And of course, we have photos that we will afloat into the video so you can see how to wear it but really very comfortable pants, red pants. I, red is a very bold color. And if you are not comfortable wearing it against your face, then red pants are definitely the way to go or shorts or whatnot. Love the cute little patch pockets. So I paired these uh, two together and they actually, Ann Taylor actually had a red tee. So you can put it all together like that. And actually, I love a monochromatic look. We talk about that all the time here. A monochromatic look doesn't necessarily have to be a neutral. It can be a bold color. It makes you look tall. It makes you look lean. And it's a very, very chic look. But then you just pop the little tweed jacket over it. And then you just have a really, really handsome outfit. Um... So that was that. And then I picked out this beautiful, so this blazer is Talbot's. And actually somebody asked me in another video of, you know, if I have the, the, the tags. So I keep the tags on my clothes. I don't have any of these stores in my little town of Athens. So I always have to have everything shipped to my house. So I don't always know if I'm gonna keep an item or not. So that's why, so if you see the tags, that's why I'm still thinking about it because they have to be shipped to my house. I have to try them on and then I decide. Uh, and then many times I'll you know, take a photo for you all, but I, I don't wear it like out and about. So just, uh, just wanted to disclose that. But I love the weight of this jacket. It's not lined, but it does have a beautiful finish. It has the bias on all of the seams. So it really does look very, very beautiful. Great travel weight. So this is our travel. They're kind of introducing a new travel series and they have beautiful black pants that match it. So you can have a little gorgeous little suit like this. Or, whoops, or a vests are very big this year. And so Talbot's has this really beautiful long vest that looks absolutely adorable with the, the black pants. So, and then I, I paired this with a striped tee absolutely cute and again it has a beautiful finish on the inside i kind of like this um not lined look especially in the summertime you may not like it but it does have beautiful finishing so definitely give it a look but i'm liking the weight of this travel set and um blazer long line vest and then the pants so that that was that and then um and also, you know, I do sing the praises of the third layer, especially in the springtime, because you, we just don't know what the temps are going to do. So it's always nice to have blazers on hand. That's my first go-to as far as a third layer. Um, and, well, this girl got tangled up. Here is another beautiful blazer. So this is by a brand that I absolutely love, Jay McLaughlin. So this is a twill blazer. It's very lightweight has patch pockets, tortoise uh, buttons, and then again, it's also um, finished on the inside. It's not lined, but it is beautifully finished on the inside. 
And I paired this with, so they have, uh, short suits are very big this year. So they have these very beautiful Bermuda shorts and they are very nice length. They have some pleats, they have pockets on the sides. So if you want a, again, a monochromatic look, beautiful outfit right there. And as I said, short suits are so in, but it also comes with, oops, wrong one. Wrong one. It also comes with the matching pants like this. So, and you can just pop a white tee underneath if you want. You can put a beautiful uh, sweater, lightweight sweater underneath it, or you can, and this is how I wore it. So this is like a little bustier. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is, a little bustier. You just put a little strapless bra under the top. You, know, you pop that under your blazer. And then there again, you just have a beautiful monochromatic look. So Jay McLaughlin, they're a little bit pricier than, they're not luxury, but they're pricier than like J. Crew or, or um, Talbot's. But I love their quality, beautiful quality. And I really like their aesthetic. I, it's a very preppy, uh, sporty vibe. Um, and I love that. So, um, so those are my third layers. But speaking of vests again, since it is vest season, so this was a beautiful... So this is a matching set from Talbot's and Lavender, and Lavender is a very big color this year. So again, it's a very long vest. You're going to have a monochromatic look. You can tuck a little cami underneath if you want to. I wore it without one. And then it's belted. And I think that this is elegant enough to go to a, a summer wedding. M you know, not obviously a formal summer wedding, but, um, you know, if it's a... And so many of our special occasions are very casual these days, but I just thought that would be beautiful for a wedding. But it's also beautiful if you go on the on a date night with the hubs, or, you know, if you're going on vacation, this is, that's really a great, great outfit. And I did like the detailing. Let me just point out the detailing on the pants. So they have uh, beautiful buttons right here on the side and then the, the slant pockets. So very, very nice. So moving along, and then we're going to pick up some more pants. So I don't know if I talk about anthropology enough over here, but many of us think that it's really geared towards the younger crowd. And I wouldn't say that it really has an age limit over there. They just kind of have a, a very distinct vibe over there. They have very bold patterns and bright colors uh, like these pants. But if you want to test out anthropology I'm going to recommend so these are called the Colette pants and they come in all varieties so all silhouettes so you can have cropped you can have shorts I'll show you some shorts in a minute you can have just um, jeans you can have long I mean a variety of uh, silhouettes over there Colette pant stretchy fabric a little stretchy fabric so nice give this is a very bright bold green for spring that's just so cute Put, you know, just a white tee with it, um, you know, and then you're good to go or just a feminine blouse. But I have the Colette pants in several patterns and the, you know, they're, as I said, available in a lot of silhouettes, but they also are available year round. So they have velvet in the wintertime, corduroys and beautiful shades for the summertime. And I will just share. So they have these really cute pair of shorts. So it's really kind of uh, reminiscent of denim. It's not really denim, it's more like a linen, but um, I think they do call it a denim over there. I could be wrong. But again, very comfortable, short, really nice length. I actually had mine hemmed up. I thought it was a little bit too long. So I just took it to my tailor and then hemmed it up. But I mean, you can pair it with, again, a white uh, tee, or you know, you can just come along with a little feminine Blouse and anthropology is also known for beautiful blouses. I love their blouses and dresses. I mean, it's just really a beautiful, beautiful brand. So go check them out. And this is just a fun little, fun and flirty feminine blouse. Um, what else do I have going through? Oh, these are, so these are from Talbot's. So these are called, I want to say it's polished denim. I'm not exactly sure. I, I could be wrong with that title, but I really like this silhouette. Very sleek, 
So just the flat front, slant pockets, and then you just have, you know, the um, small pockets in the back. They're cropped, but again, a great weight for spring. You can dress it up, you know, throw a blazer over the top of it. You can dress it down, but just a really nice alternative to denim. And so, and I, and I just really liked uh, the polished look about that. So check that out. That's from Talbot's. And again, I'll remind everybody, we have everything linked down below in the description box. So if you're wondering, um, that's where you're going to find the sources for everything. But then moving along, so I showed, I showed the Jay McLaughlin white shorts that turned into a suit. I showed the Colette shorts. And then here's just a really fun, very summery fabric seersucker. I'm always a sucker for a seer sucker, but there again, you can uh, wear these, put a little tee, you know, bring it in a white denim jacket, and it's just a great length, and you can just wear this all spring and summer long. And if you've made it this far in the video, you might as well hit the subscription box down below and the notification bell. There are three things you can do to help the channel grow. Like, share, and comment. And we can't forget about dresses because Honestly, when the temps start to heat up, I just love a one and done dress. Separates are great. They give you a bang for your buck. But when it's really warm out, I love to slip into a dress. And I know that there, a lot of us think that horizontal stripes make us look big. So I'm going to debunk that myth because actually there have been studies that have come along and proven that there's no difference between a vertical stripe and a horizontal stripe. So I'm going to just lob that out at you to, you know, just to open up your mind. Don't be so close minded about horizontal stripes, but I love this. It has a really beautiful drape to it, beautiful look to it. This is from the Haven Well Within collection and it has a nice little side tie. Beautiful dress, beautiful weight. And no, it really is not going to make you look bigger than you are. So there, I said it. So you can, you can disagree with me if you want to. <laughs> But then going along, so here's another dress. This is from Talbot's and it has a side zip. It is linen, a little bit of give in the back with the elastic, beautiful length. And it has, uh, does it have pockets? I thought it had pockets. Yeah, it has, po has pockets. So if a dress has pockets, I almost always, you know, put it in my cart because it's just so nice to have. So um, beautiful, beautiful dress. Beautiful color, put a hat on it, you know, take it to the beach, take it to vacation. Just, uh, I mean, there's so many opportunities to wear that one and done dress. And then, so Banana Republic, I don't think I talk about enough about Banana Republic either. I, I love that brand. I always have. I used to shop there a lot more, like, gosh, in the 1990s, early 2000s. But I think they've made a really strong comeback in the, in the past few years. And very clean, classic items over there. And, you know, and great fabrics too. So I just picked up this little denim blouse. And it's the bracelet sleeves. So you can show off your bangles if you want to. Pop this over white denim. And I mean, you're just, you know, good to go. You know, style does not always have to be like super complicated or super, you know, super fussy. It can just be very, very simple like that. And I think I showed this in a previous video, I can't remember, but matching sets are so big. Whoops, throw the pants. Matching sets are so big this year. And this is a really cute one in a very bright color. So just a short sleeve top, you know, beautiful pants. And they're again, they're separate so you can mix and match them. And, you know, put the, put the top with a pair of white denim you know, just bring a white tee in for this. I mean, honestly, a matching set's just perfect for vacation. So don't forget about that. And what else do I have? Oh, this is a beautiful dress from, I should have talked about this when I was talking about the dresses. So this is a beautiful dress from Banana Republic. Um, honestly, it doesn't look like much here, but you put it on, absolutely. What a beautiful drape very lightweight i think you could wear this again to a casual wedding you know get some metallic shoes a metallic handbag dress it up put a belt on it but very ethereal very lightweight and perfect for spring and summer occasions and 
I already talked about my tees. I did have this cute little striped tee. So um, there again, goes with a lot of things. I have, a, I don't think I brought it down, but I have a linen matching set, again, from Havenwell Within, and I have some photos with it. And you can wear the top and the pants together, but then since they're separate, you know, put this cute little tee with the linen pants, put a white denim jacket, and you have a whole new outfit. Okay, we're coming into the home stretch here. So I'm gonna bring these all up. I already showed one. So again, I'm gonna give a call out to Anthropology dresses and feminine blouses. They just have a great selection. So go over and take a look. So this is the first one. So just the ivory, just very simple. You have the smocking, little flutter sleeve here. Uh, this one is actually very, very similar, but a, a, just a fun little collar and beautiful buttons right just we'll go with a lot of things and just just a very cheerful pattern and then stripes because y'all know i never met a stripe that i didn't like i did want to just briefly touch on swimwear because swimsuit season is coming and i love to go to the pool i hope you do too also love to go to the beach so i have some really cute things today and again we have a really big swimsuit guide over on the blog and i'll link that down below where we've just gone through, you know, the brands that I like and some of the swimsuits that I like. But one of the brands that I do like is La Blanca. And bright colors are very, very big this year. So this is just a one-piece bandeau and a beautiful tie in the back. And La Blanca has just never steered me wrong when it comes to swimwear. And of course, we want to have a beautiful cover-up. And crochet is so big this year. So, how cute is this? So this is, again, it's La Blanca. It's from that line. Just looks beautiful. And then, you know, since it is a neutral color, you can wear it with so many of your suits. I also like Gore-Tex. My mom was a big, um, really got me hooked on Gore-Tex years and years ago. Very nice fitting brand, very substantial. So, and I really love the pattern on this. It has a matching Pareo which I will, I'll pull that out. And I, I, and I also like that too. And you can tie Pareos in a number of ways. So you really, you know, you can make it into a dress, you can make it into a skirt, but just has that really jazzy pattern. How cute is that? And what else? Oh, and I have a two piece. Cause yep, I still wear two pieces. I'm not really rocking a bikini anymore, but I do like two pieces. So this was a Trina Turk. She also has just the most adorable uh, swimsuits. So just a bright, happy pattern. And we'll have some photos of that. So cute. And um, of course, you want to have a beach bag. So, you know, that's big enough for your beach towel, sun gear, sunglasses, your hat, water bottle, all that kind of stuff. So don't forget about that. And speaking of hats, I'm gonna go over just a couple that I have. There's lots of different things that you can wear. I like a little baseball cap. I like to wear that on the beach if I'm going for a walk on the beach because it's very snug and I know it's not gonna fly off. So I like um, baseball caps. Of course, a straw fedora is always gonna be your friend and it looks great with dresses and just you know your casual everyday wear as well as taking it to the beach. But here are two of my favorites that really keep the sun off. So this is kind of like a bucket hat, a straw bucket hat. Beautiful shape. And then this is uh, one of my favorite brands, Eric Javits. A little bit pricier, but they're packable. Really, sometimes they have SPF, um, you know, built in. And just a really, my mom also loved this brand and I'm a big fan of Eric Javits too. So there you go. That's what's on my rolling rack. I want to keep everything. You can vote and tell me what to keep. I mean, some things I've, I've, I know for sure I'm going to keep, but I can't keep everything, right? Even though I'd like to. So uh, tell me what you like down below. And I hope I got your creative juices flowing today with the video. Okay, ladies, I love this time of year and I know you do too. The earth is renewing itself and so are our wardrobes. So I hope you liked at least one or two outfits. Of course, leave a comment down below. I love to hear your thoughts. 
other readers do too. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.